hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video we are going to talk about businesses that you can start with 30,000 kenya shillings this is actually a part two generally post business ya kwanza so today we are going to look at saloon business and for saloon business the requirement are blow dry hair dryer combs plastic chairs washing sink uh, yeah and oil so when i talk about this one we're not talking about an executive salon we're just talking about a small salon maybe utafute hata mtu mmoja wa kufanya hapo ama watu wawili ama we mwenyewe unaweza jifanyia if you're talented in plating hair so this one does not require so much it just requires labor and a few items and this items can easily be found on the market there are some things that you can start with for example when you talk about blood dry blood dry goes for around 1500 to 3000 in the market actually blood dry has different brands in a dependent brand kuna ile red inauzo anga 1000 kwa market kuna hizi za black zinaenda 1500 kuna za 3000 zingine zinakuja na ile kitu ya kumassage nywele inakuja na comb inakuja na kitu ya hizo mdomo za blood dry i don't know how to call them so it depends with you but for a start you can just go for something cheaper ikishaingiza do ndo unaendea kitu ya upgrade remember hapa tunaangalia kitu ya kufanya like something that will generate income so you don't have to spend so much at first before you start generating that income so the advice you go for a blow dry yeah 1500 wanzange nayo biz the second item that you're going to talk about is a dryer hii ati si lazima ukue nayo kama ita small salon hii naongelea small salon ile inakaa ikutuna a few items so hii inauzwanga 9000 you can get it at 9000 amu utafute kwa mtu mwenye nauza second hand utaipata you just learn how to set it do some people knows how to plate but they don't know how to use these items but these are things that you can just learn how to set and you are good to go they also come in varieties different brands so you can inquire around you which brand will work best for you but kama unataka mpya actually me i'll prefer you go for second hand but ukitaka mpya pia ni sawa 9000 you're good to go. Then we have the different combs. Hey, hii ya kuchana, hii ya kukata nywele suji ni comb. Iyo sasa. With the combs, ata 50 bob imetosha kupata ya kwanza biashara, sindio? Ya kufanya blood dry. But nimekatu on the higher side 200, ununu ya blood dry na ya kusonga nywele. But kuna ile inakuanga ya mbao. I grew up seeing people just using ya mbao. So, it's upon you to decide. Then we have mafuta nyuele. I've only used this can to cause a picture. But kuna nice and lovely. Kuna miadi. You just buy a, a reasonable one. The reasonable price. Unaika hapo kisha fanya watu blood dry unawapaka. Sila zime kwe ili expensive. Yeah. But you can have variety kwa wenye unasema nga oi na niwasha. Yeah. Then we have washing hair sink. Hii ni akosha nyuele. Actually, hii ni 13,000. Ingine ni akuna 15,000. But kumbuka, you can just use a plastic chair. Alafu tafute ukitu ya nyuma ya kweka mtu. Aosha nyuele. So this one, I'm just showing you the picture. But still, mapema ndiyo best. So we can go for the plastic chair and just that back thing. Ya kosha nyuele. And still you are good to go. People will still come to your salon. As long as you treat them well. You welcome your visitors well. Yeah. The treatment matters so much. More than the items. You can have everything. But you don't treat your customers well. They won't come back. Plastic. Then we go to the plastic chairs. This one. After washing the hair. You will be planting people on it. Oto na kapo unawasonga nyuele actually. Yeah. You don't have to have those executive chairs. Nizi tuka matatu zimetosha na unanza maisha. Then let's go to the business permit. 
ina depend penye huko kuna places hata hawahitaji uh, permit being that the remote area sawa yeah, so that's it for today thank you for watching bye bye see you next time